Hello everybody, Grace still plays, and we're here with a game for the channel called The Long Dark. I say that like I've never played this before. So if you don't know what The Long Dark is, The Long Dark is a survival exploration sandbox style of game that takes place when a, I think it's a geomagnetic incident happens and all the power gets shut out in the entire planet and it's very cold and we're dropped off in the Canadian wilderness. If you've seen me play this before, then what I'm doing is there was a recently a huge update to the game, the Faithful Cartographer update, to prepare us for story mode, which is coming up in August. I wanted to just take a look back into it. If you liked stuff like Ice um, or the Stranded Deep series that we're doing, then you're going to love The Long Dark. The Long Dark on the Interloper mode, which is what we're going to be playing, is the hardest survival game that I have found where the game isn't just like cheating in order for you to die. It's it's magnificently hard. And it is for masochists that enjoy getting their friggin' nuts smashed in a door frame over and over and over again with the door opening and closing repeatedly. But somehow we all come back to it. I don't know why. So let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna be playing an interloper. I don't know if I'm gonna make this a series or not. Really, I just want to get more people exposed to this game because I think it deserves it. Uh, this is one of those games out there where the developer has been working on it faithfully for a long time, and they, it has come leaps and bounds in every way. Uh, and it is it is well worth the purchase price, considering how many hours I've put into it. And this was not my original account. I think this account says like I put like 148 hours into it. I had another account before this one for Steam, and I think I put like 400 hours on that one. So it's ridiculous. Uh, I have like one feet. We'll go ahead and activate it. We're going to go with the male version of our survival. Sandbox number 37. So what does the interloper mode do? It places you somewhere random in one of the harder zones with nothing. You get nothing. You get no food. You get no water. You get no fire starting materials. You get like a shirt and some pants and like some running sneakers. I don't even know what time of day it's going to be. Uh, hopefully it's daytime, because if it's not, that's really going to suck for recording purposes. It's hard to adapt to chaos, but it can be done. I'm living proof of that. It can be done. Thank you, Kurt. Breakfast of champions, boys. And here we are. We are by a giant-ass waterfall. Oh, my God. Are we... All right, so I don't use a map, um... Which is probably stupid of me, but it's one of the things that I love. Oh god, there's cattail stalks right over here. It's one of the things I like to do, so I do it. If this is your first time ever playing the game, I would not play on interloper mode, and I would use a map. Um, well, I say that. I would play on an easier mode, and I would not use a map. Because this game is, like, the absolute awesomest when you have no clue where you're going. Oh, there's so many cattail stalks here. I'm such an idiot. I think we're in the forlorn musk egg, but I'm not sure. And that is the zone that I have the least amount of experience with. But damn it, these cattail stalks are so good because they're edible. You can use the, the heads for tinder. They never go bad, and food going bad in this game is the thing. I'm not going to get any more. We're going to go. Oh, boy. All right, let's freaking follow the... Fo yep, this is the forlorn musk egg. I already know it is. Something this desolate and barren has to be it. We have got to get out of here. I don't think that we have a ton of daylight either. Um, luckily, it's only incredibly cold and not ridiculously cold. So that's good. Now, this is the zone I've played the least, but I kind of know how it works. I know that there is train tracks in the middle of the zone, and if we hit the train tracks... We can get the hell out of here, which um, is seriously priority number one. We need to get out of this place. So, the long dark, why do I like it so damn much? The look is fantastic. The environment is beautiful. I love this crisp color. It's the one game I know of that can take basically this simple of a color palette and make it as glorious as it is. And it is glorious. I love the look of this game. Um, the, the difficulty levels are perfect, and what I mean by that is easy is nice and easy. Oh, God, am I going to fall through the ice here? Yep. That's not what we want. That's why I hate the forlorn musking. Because everywhere you go, it's nothing but weak ice. Oh, by the by, you've never played the game before. If you fall through the ice, 
You in especially in interloper mode, in any mode, but in interloper mode specifically, uh, you might as well just consider yourself dead because there's no coming back from that baby. It's instant hypothermia. Um, I don't remember how much of your of your um condition gets dropped. Conditions like your health, that's the bottom left hand corner with the little heart right there. And this isn't even considering wolves, bears, and everything else I might be seeing on my way out of here. Which hopefully we won't see, because again, if you get hit by a bear and interloper, that's also instant death. Um, and if you get hit by a wolf, that's only like a medium amount of instant death. I won't say it's instant death, I'll say it's on the way to instant death. These stumps, pretty good because they may have mushrooms on them that we can boil up and not trip balls over. Yes, the mushrooms in this game are fantastic for curing what ails you. Literally, they cure what ails you. They are the they are antibiotics in this game. And of course, none of these stumps have any of them. Well, thank you, stumps. I'm so glad that you give me absolutely nothing. There was some old man's beard lichen I saw growing around. Oh, oh god. We're already at risk for hypothermia, and I'm over here grabbing these cattail stalks like a jackass. Because I know that these cattail stalks provide 150 calories for each one, and we may not be finding food for a long ass time. Now, I'm pretty sure I can get across this chunk of the roadway. Now, the thing I don't know is if I am on the side of the roadway closest to the zone, which would make me happy, or if I am on the side of the roadway farthest from the zone, which would make me very sad. Uh, and when I say zone, what I mean is we need to get the hell out of here. Like, out of this zone, now. Because we're going to die here. This is a zone that you come to when you have items <laughs> like clothing and a jacket and maybe a way to make a fire. We don't have any of that. So, now what I do know is that the side that gets you out of the zone with the um, with the tracks will have a how do I say it? Uh, it'll have like a, a a wall or a barrier next to the zone, so we can get across on this. I'm pretty sure we're on the far side. I'm almost. I would say I'm 99% sure we're on the far side. Again, Gray being a jackass picking up kale, cattail stalks. If you guys play this game. Let me know what you would do right now. Conditions starting to go down slowly but surely. It's it's not going down terribly. We're not in a we're not in a friggin' blizzard or anything like that, but it is going down. Um, but man, it's hard to just pass up cattail stalks. Like as I see them, I feel compelled to grab them. Um, there is a dead thing around here somewhere, but again, I mostly just want to get the hell out of here. So let me get on the train tracks. Double check to make sure I know what I'm talking about. Hold on. I need to look at something real quick just to double check. Old Gray wants to make absolutely sure that he's not killing himself. Oh, God in heaven. Oh, crap. I think this is the way out. Hopefully it is. Otherwise, we're taking a short detour, boys. Well, I say short detour. It's actually going to be quite a while because our stamina bar is being a bastard right now and not refilling as much as I'd like. So, my one sad little feat basically uses a little bit less calories when I sprint. You get feats in the game by performing incredible acts of courage and bravery. Uh, what I mean by that... That is a bear right there. Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. And the sad music begins to play. Because the game knows it wants to kill Grey. Alright. All right, game. You want to play? You want to play that BS where you put freaking bears right in my line of sight? You must be freaking crazy. You must be crazy. Again, uh, bears in this game are very, very predatory. Um, God, that bear is freaking heading this way too. You got to be kidding me. All right, come on, baby. Uh, all right, we're going around. There's, I think that there's a wolf up this way too. Again, this is the, this is the zone I have the least amount of interaction with, so I'm not totally sure, but I feel like there's a wolf spawn on this side. Is that a wolf right there? Yep, there he is. All right, we're doing just fine, boys. Just fine. Let me go ahead and just kind of lollygag down this way. Uh, about 90%, I would say. 
Very, very minimalistic UI. Some people criticize the new UI. I don't know how I feel about it. I still reserve judgment. Um, I don't hate it. I'll say that. I like minimalistic UIs that allow me to appreciate the game a little bit more. Oh, yes. Oh, please don't. Yes! Oh, I think I was right. I'm 99% sure I was right. If I'm not right, then you can all laugh at me. Like I said, though, we are getting the frick. I'm going to grab some of these rocks, too. One of the things that they added to the game is you can chuck rocks. Oh, yes. You can chuck rocks at bunnies and knock them out. Um, oh, hi there. Oh, look at you, freaking simple ass tools. How you doing, baby? You can chuck rocks at little bunnies and stun them. And then you have to make yourself a decision. Do you snap the bunny's neck and take its meat hide and guts out? This stuff Ooh, accelerant. Here. Or do you let him go? And it's funny, but it's caused like this thing on the internet where people have grave difficulty snapping that bunny's neck. And I would too. I had pet rabbits, you know? So not anymore. They, uh, they lived a long, long time. Rabbits don't have the longest lifespan. Um, in captivity, I say captivity. They had a big ass room that they used to run around. They were litter trained. Um, they lived for nine years. Um, out in the wild, I think they say between six and 18 months is the span for a bunny. All right, let's keep going over here. Now we're in, we're in Mystery Lake. So we went from the hardest zone in the game to air quotes the easiest zone. I say easiest in that this is the zone that started when the game started. Um, and the game has changed dramatically from what it used to be. But this zone is considered like the zone with the most mild of environmental effects. Uh, it has a good amount of places that you can go to and get things in. It has uh, a lot of zone transitions. You can go to a lot of other zones from this zone. But the big thing is that it has a lot of like standing structures that you can like live in if you wanted to. So that's pretty good. Right up here. What do we got? Where are you guys at? You guys are right over there. That is a body. A human body? It looks like a human body. I'm going to go check it out real quick. We are doing okay. Uh, I mean, <laughs> we're getting hypothermia. But I can check this corpse out because it may have a piece of clothes. Of course not. It has nothing in it. Um, the other thing about the interloper mode... Obviously, the long dark, a very scavengy style of game. In the interloper mode, I would say you get about one-tenth of the normal items that you would get on any normal mode. So, more often than not, you will scavenge stuff and find jack crap. And that's good. I like that. That brings a definite um, difficulty to the game. I'm going to pick up these sticks while we're running. Sticks are one of the things that you can use for a fire as fuel. I like to pick up the sticks because it doesn't take any time. If you try and bust down a limb or a branch, it's going to take you time. And being out here in this weather, I say this weather, it's actually very nice outside, but it's probably like negative a million degrees. Being outside in this weather will uh, get you killed. So inside, it is still cold. That sucks. So right now, we're still freezing. Um, in fact, I know what I want to do right now. This is... Uh, now, I'm not I'm not the best player at this game, understand, okay? I'm, I'm not like... Some people are like crazy professionals at this game, damn near. They can... That's a book. We'll get everything in a little bit. Um, how much time do we have daylight style? We have a little bit. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sleep for one hour real quick. The reason why I'm doing this is to get my, uh, my temperature gauge up a little bit. When you rest in a bed, it, it's warmer than not being in the bed. So it's totally... It's totally like literally zero degrees in here. That's what it feels like, understand. So... With all of our clothes on, it feels freezing. <laughs> uh, and our clothes are probably nothing. I haven't even looked at my clothes. Oh, I get a hoodie and some pants and some freaking running sneakers, some thermal underwear. This is actually not terrible. I feel like they're giving us more clothing than I'm used to. Um, we're going to look under everything. The game loves to throw crap everywhere. I mean everywhere. In these crates, uh, underneath the bed, sometimes on top of the beds, in these drawers. Although, like I said, one in ten chance. More often than not, we're not going to find anything. Oh, hi there, dress shirt. How are you doing? Uh, where can I put you on? Let's put, well, so there's an inner and an outer clothing. We're going to wear the dress shirt on the inside. Oh, wow. The dress shirt actually has a better, hold on a second here. That's interesting. The dress shirt has a better um, wind protection. Yeah, it sure does. 
Okay, that's odd. I'm pretty sure that's wind protection and that's just thermal protection. So let's go ahead and throw that on. Uh, oh, yes! Okay, that dress shirt just saved us because now it doesn't feel freezing in here anymore. Uh, bottom of the screen, see a little thermometer? There's an arrow going up. That means that our temperature is slowly going up. Those arrows go from one to three of them. So, but yeah, man, this game, so worth the price, I feel. So worth the price. And the price has changed over time because it's gone from not a lot of content to a freaking ton of content. And man, I cannot wait for the story mode to come out. And when the story mode comes out, I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it like live stream style or if I'm going to do it episodic style. Um, it's probably going to be live stream style. I'm still considering it. I don't do too much live streaming. Now that I have a little bit more time to focus on YouTube, I might. All right, let's continue to look everywhere here. We want to check around all these areas, especially behind the chairs and stuff like that. Wait until you guys see this crap. These people hide stuff everywhere. Oh, and understand that I miss stuff all the time. And that happens because um, I would say at any given time doing the YouTube thing. Did we look through this drawer? Yes, we did. Uh, sometimes also there are some uh, hooks. Yep, see that right there. You can barely see it. At any given time on YouTube, it takes me about 30% of my attention span to, like, do commentary. So, you know, to not cough in your ear or clear my throat or sneeze at you. <laughs> Stuff like that. Um, alright. So, I'm pretty sure... Man, that sucks. Um, I was actually hoping for it. a sewing kit. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, you can't hide from me, magnifying glass. That was a big find. Magnifying glass is a renewable way to make a fire, which is fantastic because we don't have any matches right now. Now, I could totally be missing them. Wooden matches are what you typically uh, end up finding here. Actually, I don't think you find anything but wooden matches. I'm pretty sure there are no paper matches in interloper mode. Um, and sometimes they do have a tendency to blend in with crap. I'm gonna take one more look around this place and then we're gonna head outside for a little bit and try and get a little bit more exploration in. All right, I haven't seen anything, we're heading out. Oh! Oh, lovely! It looks like the weather is playing along nicely. Excellent, excellent. And by playing along nicely, I mean it looks like a freaking blizzard is moving and that's exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, uh, we need to move. Big time. Oh, there's a wolf right out there. Of course there's a wolf out there. Do we have any wolves over here? It doesn't look like it. Please, just just don't blizzard for like 10 more real life minutes. 10 more real life minutes. That's all I want from you. We need to find a way to get liquid, by the way, because we don't have any matches. We do have a magnifying glass, but I don't know how long the sun's going to stay out for us to use it. Don't you look at me sideways, wolf. There is a wolf right there in the middle of the screen. If you can see that black shape kind of looking at us. Uh, there should be... I'm not going to be picking up a lot of these cattail stalks because we've got to move. We're already freezing again. Uh, and we don't have a ton of daylight as well. Did you hear that? Thought I heard a wolf barking at me or growling at me. God, I hope not because that would be the worst right now. Wolves are kind of an interesting entity. Seeing one does not mean that you're going to die. Uh, one thing that you can do if you do see a wolf and it starts tracking you is just walk away. Don't run. Don't go toward it. Don't piss it off. Just continue walking the opposite direction. I haven't seen any difference in like looking at it or anything. Originally when the game came out, people were saying like, if you look the, the wolf in the eyes or something like that, it would, oh good, there's a cabin right there. It would, uh, like, not approach you or something. You know what I mean? Like, it would be impressed with your showing of fearlessness. And it wouldn't rip your balls off. Yeah, it's getting pretty chilly outside. Not gonna lie, this sucks. I hope this sad little cabin has some matches in it because we're not finding jack crap so far. A lot of stones on the ground. Stones are good for Jack and rabbits, but that's about it. All right, let's run up here real quick. Again, there's still a lot of stuff in this zone that I'm passing up, but we don't have the best amount of things on us at the moment, so that kind of sucks. All right, what do we have in here? Give me some matches in the crate. You're not going to give me anything. That's fine. I totally expected that. How about matches inside of the container? Nope. Nothing there as well. 
Oh, do I? You can't hide from me, Granola Bar. This is what I'm talking about, boys. See this? It's like, it's like freaking hide and seek simulator 2017 over here. Crap, it is freezing in here. That is a pisser. I hate that so much right now. Let's see what else we can find around here. We're gonna go to the next cabin immediately. I could also sleep in here, but we need to keep moving. All right, I don't see anything specifically that I'm looking for, which is a way to make fire. Of course not. Let's get the hell out. All right. Um, the weather doesn't appear to be getting any worse, per se. There should be several more cabins on this side also. Um, you can check all those fishing huts as well. All those fishing huts are explorable. So, and it looks like we have another cabin way down there. Ah, the music begins to play. That music plays. Now, supposedly, there's no cues to this music, air quotes. That's what the developer has said. But me and a lot of players sure think that there are. Because it always seems like when you're at your worst and you feel like you're going to die, the music begins to play. Oh, three cabins. This is big. These could all be uh, one of the random things in the game is these cabins will sometimes be just burned. Just burn to the ground. Oh, look at you, frozen corpse. Maybe you have a piece of clothing. Of course not. I was going to say, maybe you have a piece of clothing on you? How wrong I was. Oh, crap. Frostbite risk. Okay, that is bad. Frostbite risk is permanent reduction to your uh, status if we get it. Come on, just a piece of clothing or something. Give me, give me something, man. Old Gray needs something to work with here. We don't even have a light source, you understand. So when the nighttime comes, I'm going to be freaking not doing too well. And we don't have a way to get any kind of water or anything. These beds, how are they doing? They're doing terrible. There's nothing under them. That's lovely. All right. Now we can break down all this stuff for wood. So there's a lot of fuel I have. I just don't have a way to utilize it. Um, and like I said, sometimes on these shelves, freaking matches will be right there. But you never know. All right, let's get out of here. We've got several other cabins to check out. Several more cabins the hell oh it's a bench for a second there, i thought it said search i was like search a bench what am i gonna find in the bench man if i could find some matches that would be absolutely perfect but i feel like i'm not all right precursory glance anything in here nope not a damn thing all right we've got one plastic container nothing good good the game is playing along nicely if you ever wanted to see gray get kicked in the genitalia buy a game for 30 minutes at a time. You've come to the right place, boys. You've come to the right place. Oh, it sounds absolutely dreadful outside. I love it. All right, anything else in here? This is not, things are not doing too well right now. I'm not gonna lie. Starting to get a little worried. Uh, our freaking status is continuing to tank, actually. Let's move over to the third cabin. Maybe there'll be something over there. What is that? That is a piece of the ground clipping through the ground. All right, buddy. Give it to Gray. Give it to me. Matches. Now. Go. Matches. Matches now. Okay. Backpack. Anything inside the backpack? Nada. Have we found anything inside of anything so far? I don't think we have. Uh, this is a lot of freaking shelving units, man. It's starting to get kind of dark outside, so I can't tell. Now, if we do get matches, we can make a fire out by the, um... Hold on, let me just check inside this crate. Sometimes there's stuff hidden in the crate. We can uh, make a fire out by any of the fishing huts. Which is... <sighs> really? Running shoes? That's what you give me? You know what? Whatever. Are these better than the, our current running shoes? Uh, they're not. Of course they're not. Okay. Good. Good. Alright, anything else on here perhaps? Nope. Not nothing. I'm pretty sure there's not. But every once in a while you want to just double check. Alright. Nothing so far. Um, we're, we're batting a thousand. Let's keep going, man. How about under the chair? Do you want to fool me under the chair? All right. Here's what we're going to do. Here is what we're going to do. Um, let's see here. Let me, let me get out of here. Let me go over. Who has the best porch? Who has some wind resistance as well? Are we getting any wind resistance? Wind's coming from the front. Let's go around to the back. I'm going to try and do something real quick. We're going to hunker down over here. Wind resistance. Perfect. All right. 
please let me make a fire with this magnifying lens. How much fuel do I have? Not very much. Not very much. <sighs> Success chance is 0%. All right, how about if I move out a little bit? This is probably not enough light, I'm assuming. Yep. Chance of success is zero. Awesome. How about if I use accelerant? Nada. All right, let's keep moving. Bear coming right toward the last cabin that we're trying to get to. Right toward the last cabin. How do you like them freaking apples? I don't like them too much. Oh, okay, now I think he's going toward his little bear cave. All right, do we have anything in here? We have some newspaper. Okay. Fine. There's another hook I see right out on top there. Boom shakalaka. How about inside of the dresser? Nothing. Excellent. Good. How are we doing on water? We're doing terribly. We're going to be dehydrating soon. Ball kicking simulator. Go. All right. Let's get out to this last house. The bear. If I give him a wide berth, I'm pretty sure we're going to be just fine. We are now down past 50%, which is bad. Um... Pretty bad. Really, Bear? Like, he, he was like, eh, I'm gonna go up. Nah, I'm gonna come back out. Grave's still walking around. Really want to say hi to my old buddy. Oh, yes. We, I call him my old buddy because uh, in one of the interloper playthroughs I did, I died from a bear. Uh, I was foolish. Foolish and made some food. I can get in here, so I don't even care if he sees me. I was foolish and cut up some deer and made some okay, food. Getting a bit thirsty. And uh, the bear killed me for it. All right. Anything? Oh my god! I can't see jack crap. Um. All right. I'm gonna look around for a minute. I'm gonna cut this out so you guys don't have to be in the dark, and I'll be back in a second. All right. I went to sleep for a couple of hours because. We, really? Hold on. Do me a favor, bear. Just leave me alone. Leave old gray alone. All gray wants is some matches, all right, man? I don't want no trouble. Okay, what's our temperature outside? Bad. It's bad. Now, the one thing I will say about the bears is when it comes to wolves, if you run from them, they seem to hate you. If you run from the bear, like how he kind of just noticed that we were around. I'm not getting any of these cattail stalks. We need to move. He kind of just noticed that we were around. It doesn't look like they care as much. So, just something to consider. All right, let's go into here. We need to check all these now because we need some damn matches. We are dying of uh, thirst right now. That is number one priority. Priority number one. This is a hard start. I like it. I love it when the starts are pretty rough like this. All right, get me in here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got the frozen angler. We got some firewood. We got some reclaimed wood. Come on, baby. Matches. Give me that matches. Nobody needs this anymore. A stone? What, what, what are you going to put a stone in a freaking dresser for? What's the point of that? Whatever. All right, anything up there? Not seeing jack crap. All right, nope, nothing, nothing, nothing anywhere. Okay, fantastic. Dead guy didn't have anything on him. Oh, sick, sick reality, by the way. You can store stuff on a dead guy, and it keeps it fresh longer. I know, messed up. Let's keep going. How's our temperature doing? Terrible. Good. Very good. All right, let's get inside of here real quick. There is a wolf right there. That's glorious. All right, baby, come on. Give, give Gray what he wants. Yeah, Gray, what he wants. Gray wants some. Um, okay, a flare? All right, hold on. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna use the flare. We are gonna use the flare. All right. So, uh, not a stone. Not a, not a stone, Gray. There we go. Light it up! Light it up, boys! Uh, 60% chance. Sure. We can use this flare over and over and over again. This is not the way to use a flare, by the way. This is, like, desperation is what this is. This is Gray has no matches, is screwed, can't make any kind of water. And, really? You know what? Screw it. If I'm going to die, we're using accelerant. Do it. Do it. Eh. There we go, baby. There we go. Now I'm wishing I would have broke down all this reclaimed wood, but whatever. We've got sticks. This is why I picked up all those sticks, boys. All right. How we doing? All right. Getting warmer. 
Getting warmer. First things first. We gotta stop our dehydration. Oh, Melt down some of this water. I know. Don't worry. I'm gonna I thought I chose the male guy, by the way. I mean I'm just mentioning this now because I've been so into the game. I thought I chose the male voice actor, apparently not. Jennifer Hale, everyone. Jennifer Hale with us here today. Alright, let's go ahead and drink real quick. Oh my god. Woo! Saved! Saved by the flare. Just barely, too. Okay, I don't know how long it's gonna be before we're able to get a fire ever going again. So I'm going to melt a freaking balls ton of snow. And before we start starving, I'm going to eat a cattail stalk because it's, thank God I freaking got all those cattail stalks. Oh, Jesus. Now let's go ahead and melt this down. I'm gonna go ahead and boil some water and see if I can get us into survival mode. We've got a little bit of energy, so we're doing okay. But the biggest thing is, is that now we have a way to survive. Um, because we're not going to be parched forever. Oh, thank God we had that flare. That flare single-handedly saved our character right now. And we are going to have to get out of this area because I still have not seen matches. Now, totally, you guys can leave me, um, comments and say, Gray, you jackass, you missed a ton of matches. Please do. I totally don't mind that. Um, I'm going to add this fuel. And I'm going to boil, I'm going to boil all the water in the universe. I want a ton of water because, like I said, the food we can deal with, the water we cannot. Unless we get water purifica uh, purification tablets, which would be totally fine. Will we start starving? No. Okay, good. All right. We've got a little bit over here of um, nine minutes left. Add one more to take a torch. You eat trees? All right. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, one more thing. I'm going to eat one more cattail stalk. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Mmm. Delicious. All right, let's get the hell out of here. All right. Get my bearings real quick. Right over here should be that that is a wolf. How are we doing time-wise? Oh, thank you, wind. Thank you. Love you, too. Holler if you're Canadian. Nothing to see here, boys. Was just running for my life to get over to the cabin. Over to the cabin, which is the only structure that we oh, found so far. Anything right now. That isn't freezing inside. I can't see a damn thing. So I'm going to go ahead and stumble my way upstairs real quick because I played this game enough to know kind of how to get there in the complete darkness. And I'll see you boys in the morning. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Yes, a brand new day. We've survived. Our condition is up a little bit. Um, we're hungry. Uh, we do have a lot of potential firewood around us. I've never been so hungry in my life. It is. We got plenty of sunlight left. One of the things that I definitely want to do is probably head to the hydro dam because we need much better loot than what we've gotten uh, because our loot sucks. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. We did, well, we survived. Uh, we went from a totally unsurvivable thing and we actually managed to do it, which is kind of nice. That flare, like I said, single-handedly saved us. Guys, if you wanna see more of the long dark, you gotta let me know. Um, I know this is a smaller, kind of indie game. Not too many people know about it. Well, some people know about it, but I really want more people to know about this game because I love this game that much. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed it. Till the next time, stay foxy and much love.